Good morning, everyone. As always, place your cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life. You never know what you may go through today. You know, uh, putting God first puts him before you. That's what you want. Basically, what God is trying to do, put the normal, natural order back into your life. When he was the head and we were the tail. You know, when we start rebelling and being disobedient against him, it's like us trying to put ourselves before God. Like he don't know what's best for us. Adam and Eve. Don't eat from that tree like we don't know what's best. He don't know what's best for us. Do you understand? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Today I'm going to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 7. I'm going to read all of it. hope you got time. My videos ain't never short. You know, I I rarely put a quick one on there. I try. TikTok kills me. <laughs> it's like I can't say enough in three minutes. But um, let's start reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 7. It's got a lot of good points in this chapter. A good name is better than precious ointment. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. Now just keep in mind, the day of death is better than one's birth if you live the right life. You live a good life. So there's a place after death. It is better to go to the house of mourning to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. And when you think about house of feasting and stuff like that, you got to think about House of mourning, where people are mourning, like you gathering around people that just have parties. You remember in Job's story, his brothers and his his sons and his daughters met at one brother's house to do what: eat, drink, and be merry every day, every day. And all of a sudden, a storm, all of them destroyed in one spot. If you look at it like a tornado hit it, sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the hearts of, heart of fools is in the house of mirth. There it is again. You know, he said the righteous will suffer. You know, true believers, they suffer in some form every day. They have something going on every day. They, have, they see somebody else's pain every day. Your house can become a whole house of mourning if you let it. Don't let your house become a party establishment. Been there, done that. That's not what your house is for. It's all right to have gatherings every once in a while. But don't make your house an everyday club. Do you hear me? It's going to be hard to clean it up. I'm just letting you know. Been there, done that. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. You see, if you think about music, music does not really involve rebuke or making changes in your life. It's, it involves having fun, joyful things, and this and that. You think about the music. I'm just talking about music right now. Think about music you listen to. For as the crackling of thorns under pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely a precious Christian make of a wise man mad and a gift destroys the heart. Just think about it. A gift destroys the heart. A lot of people are led away by bribes. A lot of people are led away by bribes. If you somebody can't buy you, I remember my daughter sold somebody some years ago. They had bought her some gifts. <laughs> they bought her some stuff. And then they started throwing it up. Throwing it up in her face. And before I knew it, my daughter in the distance came out of her mouth. I don't care about this. You can take this back. You can't buy me. That's probably the best line I heard from a little kid's mouth in my life. You understand what I'm saying? It did something to me. I'm like, well, I got she's on the right path. You understand? You can't buy me. You understand? And that's how you need to be. You can't be bought. You were bought with a price. Don't let money buy you. Don't let your soul be taken. Like a lot of people who are selling their soul. For many other things, for gifts, for power, popularity, whatever it may be. Live a life that you can't be bought. You can't bribe me 
with a $20 bill. You can't bribe me with $15. You can't bribe me with a $100 bill. You can't be bought. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. What he say? The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Now look what it said. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. Because you're going to get angry sometime. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. You know, some people walk around this world, they're angry all the time. You never see a smile on their face. People say that about me too, but... I think I got that from my mom. My mom always walked around with a mug in her face. And I got a little right here. If I'm focused. And then I remember when I was little, my mom used to whoop me. I used to try to stay mad for 30, for two hours. And I think I'm stuck like that now. <laughs> I'm not an angry people person. Not for real. You know, but I can get angry. And we all can. But he said, don't be hasty to be angry. Say not thou. What is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. People are always saying, I wish things were like they used to be. You don't inquire wisely on that. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense. Now watch this. And money is a defense. But the ecstasy of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Money don't give you life. Wisdom gives you life. Both of them are beneficial, but only one gives you life. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which he hath made crooked? That's one of my favorite lines that I use in probably many videos that I put place on here. Who can make straight what God have made crooked? Only God can straighten people out, people. You can't straighten people out. Let God do what he do. Some people are going to remain crooked. And some people are going to be straightened out. It is what it is. Take Pharaoh. Did he ever get straightened out? He remained crooked. Mm, for a reason. In the day of prosperity, be joyful. Watch this. But in the day of adversity, consider. God also have set the one against the other. To the end that man should not find not nothing after him. You know nothing. You're going to have some... Prosperity days, you're going to have some gay days when you meet adversity. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There's a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there's a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? How can you destroy yourself? Being like the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes, overwise. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Which why shouldest thou die before thy time? So what you think the Bible is saying right now? Foolishness can lead to an untimely death. Foolishness can. How many times you see people on YouTube taking a picture on a mountaintop, and then they at the bottom they like this is the last picture they ever took for likes. Fail to their death. And there's even more stuff than that. Just think about so many people. This is the last picture they took. Right after that, uh, 18 wheeler smashed into them. It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this. They also from this withdraw not thine hand. For he that fear of God shall come forth of them all. So he's saying, don't worry. All this stuff. What happens if you do what? Fear God. For he that fear God shall come forth of them all. You're going to go through some things you're going to have for a lot of these type moments in your life. But if you fear God, you're going to make it. Wisdom strengthen the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. You know, I know a lot of people like, man, this is my clique right here. This is my clique. Click. Click. Ain't nothing powerful than my clique. Click. I don't care how big your clique is. A man that fear God got the biggest clique on the planet. In the universe. For all you universals, you know what I'm saying? In the world. I don't care how big your clique is. As long as I got God, my clique always going to be bigger than your clique. And your clique always going to be bigger than their clique if you fear God. That's the mafia type thing. Look at my people. One thing they kept, they mafia people can't stop. When God decided to call you home, 
They can't do nothing about it. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Let me repeat this one more time. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Also take no heed to all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. Now watch this. He always talk about the mouth and the thought process. Everybody be like, man, I'm sin free. He broke it down to you. You ain't sin free. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Also take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. For oftentimes also in thine own heart knoweth that thyself likewise has cursed others. All this have I proved by wisdom. I said I will be wise, but it was far from me. Hmm. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied my heart to know and to search and seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I found, watch this, watch this. I love this part for a reason. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. The sinner shall be taken by her. Did you hear the story about the adulterous woman in the Bible? She is loud. She is stubborn. She, her feet does not abide at home. And then she's running through the streets and she saw a man void, a young man void of understanding. And she enticed him. And he come to her house like a sheep for the slaughter. The good man is gone from the house. I have decked my bed with incense and flowers. Come on in. And her enticing words allowed the man to yield until a dart struck him in his liver. He did not know that that day would be his last. She has cast down many strong men. That goes for man and woman. Just let y'all know that. What he said? Whoso pleases of God shall escape her. It don't matter what kind of man you are. Could be your wife. You please God, you escape her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. People love to try to get somebody else stuff. They don't even realize what they're getting into. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Hey, girl, I know your man treating you bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be the best man you ever had. You understand? He ain't got nothing on me. Get in the house. God, I see how why he left. I see why she left. Lord have mercy, Jesus. You see? I love to give examples, people. You know, going through stuff in your life, you see the truth. You can make better examples by going through things. Behold, this I found, said the preacher. Keyword. This have I found, said the preacher. What's a preacher? A man. <laughs> For this have I found, saith the preacher. Come they one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found. But a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God have made man upright. But they have sought out many inventions. <laughs> Don't hurt me for this. This even tells you that a woman shouldn't preach. And not many men should preach. Oh, <laughs> whoa. One out of a thousand? How in the world we got so many preachers in Mobile? I don't know. In the world for that case. Everybody read one line in scripture like, you know, you might have the gift. <laughs> you might be a liar. But man, you did you hear all that right there? That was going on in that those verses right there. They were powerful. They were awesome. Don't you just love scripture? Don't you just love wisdom? Wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the thing is, Wisdom gives life to those that find it. Some people, the world we live in today, the majority of people, you know, the majority of people love money. 
They don't care about wives. They'll do anything for money. Stay up all night trying to make money. Money, money, money. Money. People will steal from their brother. People will rob their own mother. A woman will sell her precious body. <laughs> you know where it go. You know how the song go, people. That was a scriptural song. <laughs> Saying a lot of things that people would do for the love of money. Rob, lie, cheat, and steal. Remember that was a uh, wrestler out there. I, I lie, I cheat, I steal. Eddie Guerrero, good wrestler, good wrestler. But that was his theme song. That's what they market him as: a liar, a cheater, and a thief. Wow. If I got to be a wrestler and play one of those things, I guess I just won't be a wrestler. It's it's horrible that he uh died young of a heart attack great wrestler you gotta be careful about these gimmicks that people give you you know if you're a man or a woman of God right you better be careful what character you play as an actor you know you gotta be careful what you do in this life I remember Heath Ledger great actor great actor he played Joker great character but I don't think the, the character Joker was really killed him. You know, right before he played the Joker, he played another character. A homosexual cowboy. And it's like he's never been the same ever since. Look at Jake Gyllenhaal now. Look, he done dried up like a pot shirt. But be careful out here, people. He said, don't be overly righteous. Don't be foolish. Why die before your time? Many people have died before their time in this world because of wickedness. You know, a lot of people feel Michael Jackson died before his time. A lot of people feel Prince died before his time. Whitney Houston died before his time. It's kind of weird that a lot of these people died at around the age of 50. 50 seems like to be the, the unlucky number in Hollywood. You know, fame and fortune. See, like when people sell their soul for the money, and do what pleasing to the world. It's like their days are cut short for some reason. I wonder why. Maybe because the Bible said so. Do you understand, people? The Bible talks about it. Well, these are good people. They so good that they ran and talked about God. They were so good. You know, Whitney Houston tried a few times, made a gospel CD and everything. She tried. You understand? She tried. Mike, I don't even know what God he believed in. Prince tried early on in his life. It's a song I talk about all the time that Prince made. Don't you know I would die for you? Yeah, baby, if you want me to. I would. I'm not your, I'm not your friend. I am something that you never comprehend. Hey, read that. Listen to that song twice. It's only talking about Jesus. <laughs> like, what happened to them songs? Three. Would we'll never leave you. I'm your Messiah, and I'm the reason why. I, what? Look at what he said. Wow, that's a great song. I love it, man. When you talk about God He should have been more specific If you could make a fire song like that About the Messiah You should have made more songs About the Messiah That all those with a voice Praise the Lord People love music, musicians You know how many musicians Die early God is for me God is on my side I rap for God Overdose what? Oh, really? Oh, you you trying to use my name to encourage your agenda? You ain't you ain't rapping for me. Why well, die before your time? Why well, die before your time? Let me pause and I will continue.